Allison, any more? That's it. Okay. Do we need to address any discussion to any of these at this time? Um, regarding the citizens' comments? Yeah. Mayor, one of the items that was mentioned is actually on the agenda tonight, and we can okay. discuss it at that time. Right. And uh, we'll certainly be glad to get uh, with TDOT and Ms. Page next week sometime. All right. So the next item is approval of minutes, two of them, October 28th and November 16th. I'll move approval of the October 28th minutes. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? November 16th. I move approval of the November 16th minutes. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Next item is uh, business items, and the first one is approval of a part time position, court officer, traffic enforcement assistant. Good evening. This is a very um, small matter, actually, but it has come to our attention that in order to keep the uh, photo enforcement citations and videos, citations issued and the videos reviewed, we need a part-time person to review those when the uh, traffic enforcement manager is either unavailable or the volume picks up. And in order to do that, it requires board approval to add staff members to um, the town staff. This would be a part-time position. Uh, it must be a sworn officer according to both um, the Tennessee State Code and our ordinances. And according to our, for our liability policy under, um, with our carrier TML, we must, this person must be an employee. It cannot be a contract issued, even though the amount of money is small. It must be an employee in order to be covered under our liability insurance. And so that's why we're coming forward to ask for this part-time position to be added. You'll see attached um, in your packet both a job description and the org chart, which shows you where all this stuff falls. The, um, we had the money in the budget. Any questions? This person will also be the uh, court. Uh, the planning court yeah. officer. Yes, yep. sir. Getting this to be about 3900 is that correct, the expense for the year? That's is, the budget amount, the total okay. budget, yes. Yeah, Alderman, the actual cost will probably be much less than that. Um, yes. We don't have... Uh, this position worked that often. Uh, that is actually if we had a lot more activity for them to do. So I think we'll be well within budget. I'll move approval. Second. <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> Next item is approval of the 2010-2011 snow removal schedule. Good evening. Um, before you uh, is a copy of the snow removal schedule. Um, it's the same as last year. Uh, we haven't added any uh, new streets in the town uh, as of last year. Um, it's, it's basically the same thing as last year. We have the first priority and uh, second priority street list um, up there on the screen. Um, and we also have them listed out by names uh, on this other uh, sheet and uh, what we're looking for is is approval for this snow removal schedule that the public works department would use uh, to remove snow from the streets uh, in, in case of a snow event you already been out there no sir I noticed Kingston Pike had a lot of salt. The state that came through this past weekend and threw out a whole bunch of salt. Yep. Question I want to clarify because it didn't seem like that was really warranted. I mean, in terms of what the weather was like, <laughs> but uh, it looked like it snowed on Kingston Pike. It was so white. But 
I thought uh, you guys did a great job last year with the, uh, the way it was distributed and the effort and the time. So uh, I really appreciate the effort of you and the staff on that one. This, this schedule, you know, is, is really depicted on how much snow we get. If we got a snow, and I've said this in the past, that just keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming, we've got to keep the main first priority streets as open as we can before we ever move into any of the other second priority streets. And so that's what another thing that people <coughs> need to understand is, is that we do have a plan in place and that we will follow it, you know, per my direction as, as far as, you know, when to move off of the first priority list, to, you know. As long as the snow keeps coming, we keep trying to move it off. We got to stay with that. A motion to approve the snow removal schedule for 2010-2011 as presented. Second. All in, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Next item is discussion of the intersection at the high school entrance at Campbell Station Road. Uh, thank you, Mayor. This is a follow-up item that we had from the last meeting of the board on November 16th. Uh, at that time, we had representatives from the high school that came and uh, requested that uh, modifications be made to that intersection regarding safety uh, for uh, passengers, uh, specifically students, obviously, that, that leave the high school um, on their way into and out of uh, Farragut High School along Campbell Station Road at their entrance there. Um, at that time, staff went back and has evaluated uh, a few different options that were discussed at that last board meeting. Um, I, will t I will say this, that we have been planning to do uh, many traffic uh, warrants along Campbell Station Road once the road actually got complete. Uh, that's been in the plans for several months now. This is certainly one of those intersections at the high school along with uh, the Sonia Drive and Campbell Lakes Boulevard. Uh, in that area and all those will be looked at uh, in the January February time frame as soon as the traffic gets back to to normal conditions um, what we've the, there are three options that we're going to present to the board tonight for discussion purposes and let's uh, let the staff and certainly the public know what your feedback is regarding which option you want to try to pursue the first option is actually looking at a signal to be placed at that intersection a traffic signal um, what we would do is then do a traffic warrant analysis at that area. Uh, if it meets the warrants that are part of that analysis, then certainly uh, we can look at putting up a signal uh, as staff recommended. Uh, certainly if not, then that's something the board can, can uh, opt to do as well. That's uh, approximately $110,000 in cost for the signal and design. The second option is to look at a raised island that would prevent vehicles from turning left uh, across Campbell Station Road and actually only allow them to go right uh, out of that entrance. Uh, that option uh, certainly could, could also help eliminate those left-hand turns and that would be uh, a cost that would likely be under $10,000 for that option and it could also be done within a couple of months. The first option of a traffic signal uh, because of the time frame to buy equipment to do design, uh, get it here would take several months, uh, probably I think nine months is what we discussed. A third option uh, would actually not involve construction, but would it involve adding a school crossing guard to that location. We've contacted Knox County uh, Sheriff's Office and found out that in order to utilize a crossing guard at that location, either a crossing guard or a reserve officer, a minimum of four hours a day, would cost anywhere between $8,500 and $15,000 for each school year, depending on which type of officer or, or crossing guard that we, that we got. Um, so in looking at how to fund each of those options, um, in your packet of information is certainly some, is a uh, copy of the budget. If you look at the traffic signal option, I would suggest that for the CIP purposes, since this would be a capital project, uh, since it's over $25,000, that we, the only project that we have in this year, the FY 2011 budget, that has not already either been appropriated uh, funding or has grant funding attached to it, is our Greenway Connectors project. And so I would submit that if you elect to go forward with some kind of traffic uh, signal, that we could eliminate the Greenway Connectors project and substitute uh, the signal project. We would still need $10,000, uh, however, to, 
to equal that cost. So we would need to do a budget amendment uh, to add an additional $10,000 to that. Another option certainly that uh, you could use to pay for it is pulling money out of the general fund reserves that we have. And if that's the case, then that would reduce our reserves obviously by $110,000, uh, leaving us a little over a million dollars to, to work with off of next year, uh, going into next year's budget. Um, the other options, the, the traffic island can be absorbed within the uh, engineering budget this year. And certainly the other option of the uh, traffic um, coordinator at that location may possibly need a budget amendment because there are no funds right now uh, regarding any type of personnel cost to pay for that, for that location. But they would be absorbed with a general fund budget amendment. Those are our, our three options that we present to the board. Um, again, we'll be glad to try to answer any questions and uh, see where we go from here. I would like to make the comment that um, I would approve <coughs> the second option where we have a right in and a left in and a right out only, no left out, uh, and try that for right now. Use that $10,000 to do that. I think um, the principal Reynolds agreed that our last meeting that he would he would accept that. I think that's the first thing we should try. See if it works. Um, the students do have a way to get out to Kingston Pike, but going out the front of the school, if they had no way to go out, we might have to consider something else. But I think it, realistically it makes sense that we should try this first. Why don't you project that? So, um, for the sake of the audience, you want to point out um, how this works? Uh, yes, sir. What would happen? is this middle lane that you see marked uh, now in blue, but the uh, black lines going across it, that, that's now a left turn lane onto Campbell Station Road. That lane would be marked off so that you could not make that left-hand turn. And then an island would be included at that location so that you would still have a crosswalk uh, along Campbell Station, uh, which is now uh, there. And then you'd have these I guess you'd call them bollards or uh, cones or something to that effect that would sit there so that cars could not travel across them or it would be very difficult for a car to travel across those, forcing the cars to the right rather than going to the left. This is a similar situation that uh, we have at Weigel's at a couple different locations in town uh, that forces traffic to go right, not be able to go left. And uh, this does allow a left turn in. Yes, sir, that is correct. It would allow a left turning movement into that location from Campbell Station and then coming up into the school for morning or afternoon purposes. <laughs> 